Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to uh, continue on with uh, the song Imagine. I wanted to do several versions, but this, uh, but uh, the ones that I tried, they, they've been blocked. So it's been like a, a waste of a lot of energy. Because <laughs> um, blocked, that means I can't, uh, I can't show anyone. Um, yeah, I can't share it or anything. So uh, hopefully I can try and do something here. I'm going to have to interrupt and maybe play around with it like a yo-yo so that it gets through. At least it doesn't get blocked. Um, maybe copyright it, but that's okay. Um, and copyrighted means that basically um, if it's fully copyrighted, it means that um, that there's no compensation for, for the work. Um, so um, anyway, Let's get going, because somebody mentioned that Pentatonix uh, made this uh, version of Imagine, and uh, so I'm interested to see it. I, I'm not familiar with uh, the group, so let's go. Wow, okay. Like I said, I have to stop. I'm going to stop a few times um, uh, for copyright reasons. And uh, basically, uh, I just want to give my first impression. I, I Okay, so it's an acapella group. Uh, fantastic, uh, beautiful sound, beautiful harmony, you know? Right off the bat, and I, I really like this guy's voice. It's, it's, it's so clear. It's easy if you try. interrupting that is beautiful oh i just love that oh my god that, yeah his introduction his um uh, the way he flowed right in oh wow beautiful wow Okay, that's, that was beautiful. That was a really beautiful uh, entry. I can see why it has 47 million views. <laughs> okay, hold on. Imagine there's no country. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. Okay, so <laughs> it, it, it's worth interesting, you know? Wow, okay, nice. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I am a dreamer. Uh, but I really like the, the one in the middle, the guy in the middle. He, he's the, the, the bass, the, the tone is so, uh, it's like, it's, it's sort of vibrating through the, through the song, you know? It's really interesting. Someday you'll join us. That's sweet, right? And that's, I mean, this song is so touching, you know? It's like, um, it's something I think that we all need today, you know? We'll be as one. Hey, he's writing. Imagine all 
He was good the way he wrote it <laughs> you know holding it in, in his hand and writing it like that if that was the case unless there was a switch <laughs> it was just really nice well done and the voice wow you know really cool, really cool. So that's cool, right? Uh, they're all a uh, brotherhood of men, right? That's very nicely done, you know, very well explained. And uh, I guess they're showing that uh, that there's different uh, sexual orientations, you know, physiological differences, and uh, and uh, you know how the brain is wired is also different, and so on. And it's cool. Oh, Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, let's go on. Okay, now, like, uh, I, you know, like, uh, okay, but now that changes a little bit because uh, aside from uh, the sexual orientation and uh, and being and the color that a person is, which are these are all you know physiological you know facts and so on. Um, they're not uh, ideological. <laughs> uh, the other the other elements are ideological. You know the they mentioned Christian and Jewish, right? And American. Those are ideological. I they're man-made ideas, right? That's a little bit different. Okay, stop. <sighs> oh my god, I thought that's gonna cause. Uh, I went too long, you know? It's gonna. Maybe, maybe it blocked or something, you know? <sighs> Hopefully not. I couldn't stop them. That was beautiful harmony, uh, beautifully done, and uh, I'm sort of. I'm trying to figure out what I'm. What they were trying to say with the, the labels and the, the labels the cue cards and yeah and then and they added labels right uh, of the different like i said a part of it is the physiological uh you know like uh, sexual orientation or physiological in the sense of um uh, man woman you know and the color of somebody's skin i mean these are uh, uh phys physiological physical and and you know whatever um, uh, but I'm still confused with the other thing <laughs> with the why they added uh, nationalities and uh, relig religious uh, affiliations you know so I was, it was this was really cool you know uh, I, I, I really liked I think what they're trying to say is from what I can see I don't know what they're trying to say exactly but wait it's not finished Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's not finished. You may say I'm a dreamer. Ah, there you go. Explanation. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. You know, the melody is fantastic. And I mean, the harmony is fantastic. It's just, wow, you know, they're so good. And the world will live as one. Oh, yeah. So this is a, it's. I found this quite interesting. It's beautiful, you know. The the melody. I mean, this this uh, this group. 
uh, is uh, excellent. You know, I can understand why I got, you know, all these views and so on. And um, yeah, really, really, really good, you know. And it's a very, um, very sweet and uh, togetherness type of feel in the way they portrayed the song, you know. And uh, uh, because that's what it does, and I mentioned that in my commentary of the song uh, when I did that. Um, but it doesn't doesn't really get to the point of the song, I think. You know, um, well, at least that's not what I inferred from what they're, imp what I think they implied with the labels, because with the cue cards, right? Because in the cue cards, they demonstrated the different different um, things. Uh, some were physiological, uh, so that, uh, okay, that's stating a fact. <laughs> I'm a man, you're a woman, and, and so on, right? That's a fact, uh, let's say. A fact, that I'm a man, let's say. Uh, and you're not necessarily a woman, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, whatever. So physiologically speaking, that's fact, and and so on and so on, and different and different sexual orientations, and and so on and so on. Uh, and but then they also included uh, uh, in those cue cards the labels, uh, labeling themselves as a certain nationality and certain religious affiliation. Now that's different. Uh, that is. Because the song itself says, imagine no religion, imagine no countries. Okay? What part of that is, uh, is misunderstood? Yeah? Uh, because I, can under I understand that it, basically they're saying that it doesn't matter you know, which country you come from, it doesn't matter what religion you belong to. We all accept you, and we all love you in the same way, and you're all you're because you're human, you know, and it's and it is and it's normal to to believe in stuff, believe in have ideologies such as those, such as religious ideologies and uh, nationalistic ideologies, and so on. But that is, in my opinion, that is what the problem is with the human species. That's what I, I, I'm trying to point out in my book and I'm trying to point out in general. That until uh, that changes, the need for uh, ideological uh, differences, uh, it, unless that changes, um, then we will always be divided. So you can't have a, we'll, we'll all live as one when you have divisions. You can live as one up to the point where one ideology does not interfere with another ideology. But as soon as one ideology encroaches on another ideology, and some, you know, uh, then you're going to have conflict, obviously. You know, chances are you're going to have conflict. Whether, it, you know, for example, one nation versus another. You know, they have different ideologies and they end up uh, fighting. As we see today. As we've seen throughout mankind. You know, always. That has not changed. And it's not changing. Why isn't it changing? Because we haven't changed. As a species. We're still the same tribal uh, species that uh, basically um, has this tribal mentality, you know, in the sense of uh, I belong to this religious affiliation or or a nationality, and uh, this is who I am because ideologies are also who you are, right? That's why they specifically this, you know, they they specifically show those labels labeling themselves as Christian or Jewish or and uh, American and so on you know whatever so uh, but you you know uh, but those things are what you know sooner or later uh, not sooner or later they are the things that divide us it's very easy to accept another's 
ideology when it doesn't interfere with yours. But when it does, uh, it causes problems. So then we have to ask, why is it that we, we have these ideologies, these belief systems that we belong to? You know? And if we go really deep into the reasons, really, really deep, we find out in, within ourselves that the reason behind it has to do more with uh, the basic aspects of our human condition, which is common throughout mankind, which is an emotional thing, you know, attachments. We, we form attachments to belief systems because we fear something or other, you know, because of fear, the emotion of fear, okay, because when you're completely detached from everything, um, you know, if you're detached, when you're attached, you feel like a, you belong to something, you know, it's a feeling thing, basically, and uh, whether it's, uh, you know, um, if one is feeling lonely, for example, you, you want to belong to something, so the fear of loneliness pushes one pushes us to uh, find something that we can uh, belong to that doesn't make us feel lonely. So the fear of loneliness pro is a cause for attachment. Let's say, in, as an example, right? And then. Uh, and then what happens is you become attached. Uh, one becomes attached to something, and and then another per person becomes attached to something else, and they feel like a belong. They belong to that whatever it is. In this particular case, I'm referring to uh, uh, religious affiliations, uh, as they pointed out, and uh, nationalities, and and that becomes part of their identity. And if you threaten that identity, you're threatening the person's who the, the, the person feels they are, and they will retaliate. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, but this this type of song, which makes, which is a good feel s uh, style, uh, the way they, they, this version of it, uh, uh, doesn't really point out uh, the, I think, the, doesn't really have the point that I think the original song uh, has. And again, I'm not John Lennon, but I think I have an idea of what he was writing. Maybe, you know, I may be wrong, I don't know. Um, it seems to me that when you're writing a song and it says, no religions, <laughs> imagine no religions, he's talking about a world where you imagine there's no need for religions or uh, nationalities and he spoke about no need for possessions and so on and so on and again you know um but we have all those we still have all of those things we're no no not only are we not even close to we're not close to to that but uh we apparently after 50 years we have moved away from the message by constructing another message that is the feel-good message but does not have the fundamental description of what is needed to fulfill uh, the requirements for the human species to live as one. Anyway, at least that's what I think. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's probably going to be blocked, so I'm I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> have a great have a great day if you're still if you actually get to see this. Take care, you know, and uh, yeah. Hopefully this was okay. Bye. <laughs>